Well, good afternoon, guys, YouTube people, world everywhere, wherever, wherever, wherever. Um, stuck inside the house. So, LA County put a, I guess, like a lockdown, I guess, out here for the COVID 19. Anyway, so apparently, can't go anywhere except for work, run important errands, or, uh, go to a uh, hospital. So anyway, so I'll probably go somewhere uh, Monday um, shopping because I will need to go shopping for work um, and then Tuesday go to work. But uh, yeah, I've been cleaning out this room that we have. My wife's little store thing. This thing was completely packed with boxes and books and books and all kinds of crazy stuff. She probably doesn't want me showing you guys that, but anyway. So those are CDs, books, um, boxes. I just took a bunch of boxes and this is a lot of stuff is Goodwill. Thrift store, Goodwill, bookstore, whatever you want to call it. So, as you can see what I'm doing here today. Which I hate painting. Hate it, hate it, hate it. What we got here got one already done so I got some uh, runs or whatever you want to call it because when I was putting the lens on kind of beat this spot up a little bit but all in all it's pretty it came out pretty nice came out okay I got I can see another little run right in here but and then what I didn't do is I didn't clean the inside of the lens so I got water spots in here and I'm not taking this off again. Putting this lens on is a pain in the butt because you kind of chip up the paint right here. So these are my stock ones from there. I don't like the black. I do not like the black. No matter what you guys say. So anyway, what I'm doing is I just took a heat gun and I'm just going around. Starting on this section here, and then prying it, prying it, prying it, coming over here, prying it some more, and then uh, you really have to heat it up uh, once you get into here. So, all this spot right in here because it's slid into a little pocket, so you kind of have to heat that up really, really good to get it to to get all this stuff off, and. Uh, yeah, so what I'm doing is I just took some acetone. I'll take another little bit of acetone, um, clean it, and then I'll clean this inside here. I don't know what I'm going to clean it with. Probably just some, um, maybe like a damp cloth or something, because I don't want to clean it with any acetone or glass cleaner inside there, because I don't want to discolor it. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. Pretty boring day. Um, this does look a little yellow. Um, so you can probably see the shady watermarks. Um, it kind of looks a little yellow, so the, that means the lens is yellowing. If it does you look yellow to you, it looks a little yellow to me. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and prime. I'm going to go ahead and prime the... Uh, I could probably polish all these scratches off if I wanted to. But I might not, because I don't care. Because these are just, I guess you can call them trash headlights. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean all this up. And then uh, prime it. What I'm using for paint is using this automotive primer, Rust-Oleum. And then some Krylon semi-gloss white paint. So, anyway, I'll show you guys what I also did this morning. Yesterday and this morning. So I took this all apart and painted that and then painted this. I did Plasti Dip at first, but I guess it was too cold and it just, everything bubbled. It was pretty nasty. So did that, did that there, a little camera, took all that apart. So to get to that, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. You can see all the boxes. Just undo all the screws. All these screws, take all that out. It's a 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeter nuts. Um, 
two 10 millimeter bolts to hold the cylinder in place and then two T20 torques. So I tried taking the handle apart. Yesterday I got the handle all off all the way back to here. So if somebody knows how to take these off, let me know. Because I didn't want to go any farther and then break that. So since uh we're all basically I don't know, quarantined or locked down. That's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh prime that, clean it one more time with some acetone, prime it, and uh yeah, I'll uh, probably install them in the truck. I'm going to heat them up again. Go around with the uh, heat gun and heat them so that that seal melts to the lens. And go from there. So I'll be back. Alright guys, here we go. These the old black ones. Right here. There's my mess. Look at that. Woo. This side came out pretty, pretty good, except for a little chip up here from putting the reflector dealio in there. So, I don't know guys, you guys tell me what you guys think. So, if you can see it, but there's water spots in here. I cannot get out without pulling the lens off. And I'm not pulling the lens off. What do you guys think? I definitely like the white a lot better. And once I get... Once I get... The bumper powder coated a beast beast I like it I like it I did something that I actually like anyway all right guys that's gonna be it I gotta go through the barn I gotta go sort a bunch of junk I gotta put tools away and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for this video um, I'll probably keep the stock or the the black headlights for now just to see how this works so again if anybody knows how to take those handles off handle covers off the handles let me know or somebody has a a set of old ones that they're gonna throw away try to disassemble them for me to see because I can't find anything exploded view uh, diagram, blueprints, I can't find anything on how those go together. So, alright guys, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Later.